Good morning, Wildcats, and happy Tuesday morning to everyone. First, we want to say a big thank you for yesterday was our first return of students coming back in person. We do have our second group of students coming back for their first day today, but hopefully everything goes as smooth as it did on our first day yesterday. So a big thank you to all of our parents, to all of our staff. And then, of course, to all of our students for following the Weaver Way so we can get you on and off campus safely. Now, we also want to make sure that everyone stepped up for the big challenge of the day yesterday and found someone to compliment. Just by making that little gesture, you can make anyone's day a lot brighter. And so for yesterday's challenge of the day of compliment, I just want to pay a compliment again to all of our wonderful parents, staff, and students that made sure that everyone was safe on our first day uh, to return in person. So thank you to everyone again. And that was our challenge of the day yesterday. Now today, with our Group B students coming for Tuesday, if you're in person, you will be here Tuesday and we will be helping you get onto campus if you're distance learning, make sure that you are checking in with your teacher at your assigned time. And for you, you will be checking in distance learning. You'll be checking in every day. So make sure that you have checked in with your distance learning support teacher. Followed by that, there will be lunch. And then you'll start your afternoon Zoom classes or virtual classes. So second period from 1250 to 130, 132.10, you'll have fourth period, then seventh, then ninth. Make sure you are paying attention to the times there as they have switched from the mornings now to the afternoon, but they're in the same order. Seventh grade, you're going to be following the same schedule today. So if you're here in person, we look forward to meeting up with everyone again and seeing you on campus today. For our distance learning students, make sure that you do check in with your support teacher. And then in the afternoon from 1250 to 130, you'll have period two, 130 to 10, period four, 210 to 250, period seven, and then 250 to 330, period nine. And in the eighth grade, again, we look forward to seeing our eighth graders back on campus if they're returning for in-person. My distance learning students, make sure that you are checking in with your distance learning support teacher. And then in the afternoons, you will go from periods two, four, five, and nine today, and then make sure to pay attention to the times so that you're in the right time in the right class. Most important, make sure that we continue to do our part to do the five and help stop the coronavirus. And so the, again, this is especially important for our in-school students that are coming back. Make sure that you're washing your hands frequently while you're here, practicing that good respiratory hygiene. So if you're sneezing or coughing, do away so away from others and into the bend of your elbow. Avoid touching your face, especially those areas around your eyes, nose, and mouth. Most important, make sure you're maintaining that social distance while you're on campus and keep those face coverings on. And then make sure if you're feeling sick, stay home and get better. Now, if you haven't already done so, 6th and 7th grade, make sure that you do go through your email to check for an email from Ms. Wood. It will have a video and a Google form for elective choices for next school year. And we are the Weaver Wildcats, and we live the Weaver way, so continue to work responsibly, have excellent behavior, that can-do attitude of achievement, make sure you're valuing everyone, exhibiting respect, and you are ready to learn. So also some reminders while we're in distance learning or virtual learning, make sure you're checking your school Gmail account every day and throughout the day, you're checking into your Google classrooms and you're following your right days meetings and you're checking into your daily class meetings as well. You're watching the daily announcements and participating in the question of the day. And then you're taking those brain breaks and getting up and moving around. Tomorrow is Wildcat Wednesday, which will be mismatch day. So make sure you wear all your crazy colors and all your crazy patterns all together at once. If you are interested in CJSF, make sure to email Miss Brummel. You have until this Thursday. And again, CJSF, is, all 7th and 8th grade students are eligible for CJSF if your grades get you into the club. So make sure to email Miss Brummel with any questions. And today is Dr. Seuss Day. Dr. Seuss is credited with getting a lot of us excited to read with all of his imaginative stories. And so our question of the day today is, what is the title of your favorite book you have ever read? So go ahead and put the name of your favorite book at the link at the bottom of the video or at the link in your email and let us know 
What is your favorite book you have ever read for Dr. Seuss Day? All right, and today is Tuesday, so there will be Netflix Club today from 3.30 to 4.30 with Miss Dewey. And our quote of the day, if you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. Okay, and that comes from Dr. Seuss, of course. And so if you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you, and notice you is all in caps, choose. So make sure you choose wisely. And make sure if you haven't already done so, make sure to watch the Welcome to Weaver video so that you know how to leave, I'm, I'm sorry, you know how to get onto campus with the screening, and then you know where your classrooms are located. All right, well, cats, that's what we have for you this Tuesday. We look forward to seeing all of our Tuesday, Thursday in-person students. And again, we want to thank all of our Monday, Wednesday students and families for the smooth day that we had yesterday. And most importantly, Wildcats, remember, each one of you is great. Just allow yourselves to be. Have a great day, Wildcats.